G'day folks, Duckville here. We're going to have a look at a very short but sweet uh, PvP on Lost Temple. This one's going to be between this red Protoss here at the 9 o'clock position. This is actually NSP Genius from the uh, uh, previously on the next team, uh, but uh, now he's over on NSP, who uh, didn't do as well as last season in the GSL, but um, nevertheless, he actually did a pretty good job this season, but um, yeah, today on Lost Temple, he's going to be playing against this dude over here. This is Cocktail. Um, well, his name sort of comes out as Cocktail from what I understand. I'm not uh, totally sure, but um, that's what I got. Um, and he is obviously another Protoss here at the 12 o'clock. He's, he's not... Um, he's, once again, as with most of the replays that I've actually done lately, they're sort of, um, you can generally count on these guys all being uh, sort of um, sort of at least 2k points uh, diamond players on the Korean ladder. And I know, in general, points, uh, it, it, given the way that points are actually awarded now, points really don't actually matter too much these days, given that if you grind enough, you can actually get as many points as you want. But um, obviously, at the higher levels, it does uh, come into play. But... Um, We'll see here, just on, in this game, I did have a little quick look at it um, before I started casting. This one's actually just got a few key things, which uh, which we which do sort of play out a very key factor in uh, who actually wins the game. So this guy is hopefully going to stop all their ranting in a second. I didn't actually get rid of the chat in this one because it's, it's not too much. But um, we've got the scouting going from both players. We've got a probe coming in here from uh, Genius. He's going to be coming in. And uh, generally in your PvPs, um, I know that lots of people, including myself, actually have a lot of trouble with um, uh, the actual the play styles in um, PvPs. You know, you, you've got um, you've got either your very um, your very early sort of um, zealot rushes. You can you still get to uh, like two gate zealot rushes a lot, um, especially in close positions like this. Um, but so you you do see that sometimes. A lot of the time, however, the uh, PVPs generally turn into either who can get the most stalkers or who can get uh, the most colossi. And obviously, if it does get into the mid game, it actually becomes these massive, massive colossi battles um, that just look like War of the Worlds and it looks crazy. Um, and it does certainly. Uh, look awesome on replays and that sort of thing, but um, in the actual game it can get kind of boring sometimes. So um, this one, as I said, is is quite short, but there's um, there's a few key things we'll have a look at. But um, as you can see here, uh, Genius is probe just scouting out here. He can see that the two gas is uh, all done and dusted for uh, cocktail, and he can see that the uh, cybernetics core is spinning there, and there is a st uh, stalker coming out here. He's probably going to know the timing of when this stalker comes out, I believe. You can see that the chrono's gone off. You can also see that um, there's still a little, little bit of chrono left in this nexus over here. So he's probably going to suspect that um, there's either going to be a couple of units chronoed out, or perhaps he's just going to keep the chrono going on uh, warp gate so that he can get that out as soon as possible. Um, general um, sort of build again here, same, almost the exact same thing here from Genius as well. Although, um, just having a look here, we've got a quick little battle in the middle there. Some stalkers just uh, taking pot shots at each other. Um, Cocktail doesn't actually know. He didn't. His scouting wasn't too fantastic. I believe uh, Genius actually cleaned up his probe when it went into the mineral line. One thing you've got to be very careful of when you're scouting is if you uh, go into the mineral line. Because if you, can, if you get too far in here, sometimes players will grab all of these probes and just bam straight onto you and kill it straight away. So just be very careful when you're doing that. But... Um, as mentioned, we've got, uh, we didn't get too much scouting from uh, Cocktail. So he doesn't know that the second gas is here. He does not know, I believe, that the, uh, that the Robo is there and that we have these three gates on the way. So uh, Genius is now moving into a very, uh, very standard sort of play there with that three gate Robo. And it looks as if uh, Cocktail is going to do almost the same thing. Instead of the Robo, he's got a, uh, a, a fourth warp gate, uh, gateway, which will be a warp gate in a second coming out. So he's going to have a lot more uh, ground-based units initially, but um, as as we all know, as all the Protoss players will know, um, when when you get into this sort of matchup, um, once the Colossus comes out from your opponent, it can uh, become quite a bit of a hassle here. And especially on uh, this particular map, the way Lost Temple works with these expansions um, down at the Natural is that you can, you can have your, your uh, Colossus sort of standing up here on the, uh, on the edges, just sort of um, uh, shooting down with, um, and if you don't have vision, of course, you can't actually shoot them. So um, we've got uh, Cocktail just moving in here. It looks as if he's going to have a shot at the uh, at the front ramp there, but Genius has two uh, sentries out, and they do block. Obviously, 
Not really sure why he needed to get both of them up, but um, he did get two force fields up there which have blocked off the ramp. He's still got two more uh, force fields left, and it looks as if um, Cocktail's just going to try and uh, push his way through there, but it is not going to happen. Um, and we're going to get some free shots off here from Genius. He's going to be able to push in against these Stalkers and just take some easy shots there. You do not want to sort of sit there on that force field while your opponent gets some shots off at you because you'll obviously lose some shields. And in the case, no, actually, we don't actually have any dead ones here, but uh, we do have an Immortal, and the Immortal is going to clean up these Stalkers, I believe, um, just although the positioning is not favoring Genius just at the moment. So he's going to need to... Um, actually move in there and um, he's going to have to be very careful with the way he actually approaches this ramp because if you get caught out here down at the bottom of the ramp you you are going to get um, blasted away by a lot of these stalkers as we as we all know so um, this sort of this is how pvps tend to get in this early sort of stage here with all these ground units is that it just sort of becomes a bit of a stalemate here at uh, one of the players bases because you don't want to move down because you could get um, a sentry force field at your back and you will get um, creamed up by the units. And um, of course you can't really push up either because the same thing can happen. So sort of a bit of a stalemate here and while we're just uh, in that position we'll just have a quick look back at what we've got the two guys. Uh, we've got a great saturation on the probes there although maybe a little bit oversaturated. We've got the four warp gates and the robo and a, a robotics bay on the way as well. So. Um, we do have the first Colossus out from next uh, NSP genius. Don't, don't let me get that wrong. Um, so he's going to be able to use that to affect here on this high ground, as we said. So uh, we do have observers here. So this will also become very much an observer battle because if the observers are shot down like that one was, that means the ge uh, genius is going to actually have to get up his um, observers again to make sure he can spot. But it looks as if uh, very cleverly. Um, Cocktail is actually retreated because he knows that the uh, the Colossus is up here and we're going to have a second one in just a moment as well and it looks as if Genius is actually going to move out with a whole bunch of probes I think we've got a little bit of a bit by bit style uh, push here coming from Genius he's going to be able to um, push in he does not know that the, uh, the, the units over here have actually moved across to the side so losing that observer is actually could be a bit of a bit of a uh, trouble here for Genius if he doesn't actually be very careful with his placement of his units. But depending on the timing of how Cocktail actually walks in here, this could be a bit of trouble for him as well because we've got all these probes here. Probes are going to come in and provide a little bit more damage and a little bit more uh, meat shield protection there. And it looks as if um, we've got Cocktail coming in from the bottom. So this is actually this could work out in Cocktail's favour depending on how he actually engages and he has to be really careful with this one Colossus that's left. And the Thermal Lance is on the way for him as well. So he's not going to actually uh, be able to shoot all of these units from too far. And this Immortal is sort of staking out that ramp there, making sure that the uh, Immortal doesn't get too close. And it looks as if these leftover forces are going to be able to clean up what's left of, uh, of the top there from uh, Cocktail. And Cocktail's only got these few Stalkers left. And I think that, well, that was it. He's pulled all of his probes. He does have one Colossus. He does have, uh, it's about to have extended range. Um, but the probes here have come down and the probes have come to play and they've almost got taken out some of these units here. The, uh, these guys are sort of really, really low here. We've got uh, two Colossus that are quite low, one of them very low. He's on, uh, he's on 19 health or something like that, 20 health. And we've got a few more units coming out from Cocktail. This could be a bit of trouble here if he pushes out. He does not know um, that the two, the two Collies are still, still alive, but um, he's only got his one Colossus that does have range. He is going to be able to shoot from... Uh, from on top of the cliff, but now that uh, Genius actually has both of his Colossus up there, a little bit of Miss Micro here, he loses one of the Colossus, and the second one is also very low. The Stalkers are going to need to um, take that one out, but I think that is going to be it, because this is all over. We've got so many units in here from uh, Genius, and he's actually lost his uh, second Colossus, but that is not going to matter, because the Immortals and the Stalkers are going to clean up the rest of these probes there. So just a little bit of um, perhaps a little tactical error coming in from the bottom there. From uh, when he sort of came across this way up the up the side of the uh, the cliff there, maybe not the best decision, but um, I suppose it was actually a very dangerous spot for uh, Cocktail to be in anyway, given that he was quite far behind on tech. But uh, it looks as if he's going to try and clean up the rest of the units here, but it's just uh, as we said, just not enough. There's way too much in here, and now Cocktail is way down on his harvesters, as we can see. We've got uh, seven probes for Cocktail and 19 for Genius. So despite the fact that Genius sent them all in, he has uh, he is still way ahead. And that is the game. So that was, as we said, a really quick one. Um, just obviously some um, 
differences in the tech paths there. You can see um, that, that the, uh, the loss of that pro very early at the start was a big, big key moment in this game, personally, I think, because um, the probe that came in did not get to see the second gas. It did not get to see anything else that actually was left over from Genius after he um, picked up his tech route. So, um, so Cocktail was in no way prepared for that um, extra Colossus that came out a lot earlier than his did. So nice little quick PvP there. Um, we will have a few more games coming up soon, and we'll get them on shortly. So thanks very much, guys. Cheers.